Alright, so I hope you understand uh, how soft lock is done. And now I'm going to show you using the same configuration of a figure eight descender. Alright, to do what we call a full lock. Right? A full lock is another method of uh, securing yourself so that you can be hands free. So this is how it looks like. So assuming this is my absolute position, okay, I want to execute a full lock. So what I do is that I will move my hand closer, shorter distance, and what I do is I'll execute a soft lock first. From here, hold on to the neck and quickly bring it around, push it in between. Do a soft lock first. And after which what you do is uh, you do a bite on bite on the spine of the carabiner. This is how it looks like. From here, form a, a bite. Form another bite to go through the first bite. See that? So it's a bite on the bite. Pull enough length. Alright, pull enough length because the last step will require you to form two half features around the neck of the figure eight sandal. So this is how it looks like. One. Make sure you have sufficient length. Okay, one way to check is make sure there is one forearm length. Okay. So with this, you have complete your full lock. And that's why you can release both hands to do whatever adjustment or work you need to complete. So this is a full lock. And now I'm going to show and demonstrate to you how to release a full lock. So it's a reverse order. Undo the two half features, one and two. So your bite on bite. Next is to remove your bite on bite. You can hold on to the neck and start pulling the end. Do the bite on bite. Make sure your hand is on the rope. Okay, breaking hand on the rope and now the last part is to undo the soft lock give it a pull and you're done okay then you resume exhale